so let's get straight into it. Hello there, Tanja. I've spoken to a few of my contacts, and you seem as though you're pretty trustworthy, so I'll help you as much as I can. You want to meet Mrs. X, if I understood you correctly? Do you even know who Mrs. X is? Not many people do. Mrs. X is the leader of Chill, Chill or Yorvik's most, uh, sorry, foremost res resistance against Ged. I support them in as many ways as I can, but they're incredibly secretive, so my contributions to their fight are pretty small. Whenever they need my help, I always step up. I've only met Mrs. X once, and we only exchanged a few words. She knocked on my door in the middle of the night one time when she was being chased by Ged's guards, and she needed somewhere to, to lay low. I offered her to her a bed and didn't ask any questions. When I woke up the next morning, she was on her way out the door. She told me that if I ever needed Chill's help, I should go up to North Hillcrest and ask for... Wait, what was that? Did you hear that? Someone's coming. Oh, dash it. It's Junior Buttergood. Not a word to him about Mrs. X or Chill, Tanja. Hmm. Morning, Junior. Well, how lovely that you dropped by. This is my friend Tanja. Have you two met before? Talk to Junior Buttergood. Oh dear, he looks like, uh, he looks a bit like a spy and he looks sleep deprived and like a western writer. If he was a writer. Tanja, what kind of name is that? Listen, Tanja, we don't much like outsiders here in Nippona, so I reckon you better buzz off back to wherever you came from. And be quick about it. Snort. Pamela, where's my honey? If I don't... If I don't get it today, I will make your life miserable. Oh my gosh. Well, Pamela, the honey, where is it? You know well, very well, that the only thing that makes my daddy happy is to drink tea with your honey stirred in it. Your honey is the best in all of Pona. That's the only reason I buy it from you. But if you can't deliver the honey, then I won't buy it from you anymore. All I need is one excuse and I'll make my money elsewhere. I, it doesn't matter what my old dad says, so watch out. I expect the delivery of honey to Butter Hill today, Snort. Alright, he doesn't seem very nice. Um, I really, really, really don't like him. I tried to do a western accent, and I'm sorry if that offended any of you. Sorry, that was Junior Buttergood, the head of the Buttergood family. An absolute cretin, but he's also the most powerful man in the region, and he knows how to throw his weight around. Everybody here is scared of him, even me. He's best buddies with those good types as well. Ah, well, I make my honey to make people happy, and if I can give some t someone a tiny bit of extra joy, then I guess I've done a good thing, even if that person is Vlad Vladimir Buttergood. Who Vladimir is? He's the eldest of the Buttergoods. Must be over a hundred now. More evil soul you couldn't hope to find. But since he's snuffed... I uh, suffered a stroke ten years ago. Junior's been running the family. It might be hard to believe, but compared to Vladimir, Jun Junior's a real ray of sunshine. Oh, boy. All right, Pamela. Tanja, can you help me get some but honey to Junior Buttergood? I think we can use this, op use this delivery as an opportunity to get closer to Mrs. X. Let me explain. A lot of the Buttergood family are absolutely wretched. I mean, you've met Junior, but honestly, in comparison to the rest of the family, he's an angel. Oh, boy. Luckily, there's some good people in that bad family. Robert Buttergood is one of the best people I've ever met. Decent and respectable, friendly, and a brave member of Chill. Exactly. Junior's little brother is on our side. If you think Junior found out, Tanja, he'd be... If Just think if Junior found out, Tanja, he'd be pretty surprised, to say the least. Ha <laughs> ha. But of course it's a secret. You mustn't tell a soul. You understand that? You understand that, right? Good. You need to talk to Robert Buttergood. That... It was him that Mrs. X told me to get in touch with if I ever need Chill's help, so it would be perfect to, if you deliver the honey to Butter Hill. Get the honey from the beehives, and I'll get some jars in the meantime. Alright, let's go collect some honey, guys. And you may have noticed I did change my outfit a little bit. Um, I just bought the shirt today, and I wanted to get some stuff that um, that went with it. Unfortunately, all the rest of this stuff... Well, unfortunately for everybody who's not a Lifetime Star member, a Lifetime Star writer, um, all of this stuff that I'm wearing, aside from the t-shirt, can only be found in the bonus shop, which can only be accessed by the people who buy the one time, uh, who do the pay once option, um, which I did. It's all the street stuff, so like the street shoes and the street uh, pants and the street cap.
All right, that's it for the honey. Then let's go back to Pamela. You got some honey, Tanja? Ah, perfect. These didn't sting you, did they? No. There we are, some honey. Here are some honey jars. Now, now you have a good reason to visit Butter Hill, where the whole Butter fam Buttergood family lives. You know where Butter Hill is, by the way. You don't? It's probably best I tell you a little bit about it, about it before you go. Here's, here's how it is. Butter Hill is the actual estate on which the Butter family lives. It's built around the ruins of an ancient fort known as Old Ridge Caster. Nobody knows what who built the old fort, but from what I've heard, the, la the latest theory is that the Romans settled here around 2,000 years ago. Big fort behind old Ridgecaster? You certainly seem to be interested in history, Tanja. I'm not the right pos person to talk to, really, but you can find someone... You can certainly find someone who knows about a more about Aponis history in New Hillcrest. Anyway, I can tell you what little I do know about the fort. It's called Fort Maria. It's quite like Fort Pinta. Did you think about that? Fort... Pinta, Marie, Pinta, it sounds like Columbus's ships, um, sorry, I'm like, yeah, anyways, uh, they were both built about the same time, but Fort Maria has been closed off to the public for as long as anyone can remember, it's probably just a tale, but apparently nobody who ever made it over the wall has come back, haha, <laughs> typical stories, parents tell their children to stop them doing stupid stuff, Anyway, I'm going to tell you all about Epona. Or, well, I'm going to tell you all about Epona. I may as well tell you about the Great Thunder. It's a huge ravine in between Old Ridge Caster and New Hillcrest, which splits Epona in two. The Great Thunder was created by a gunpowder when a gunpowder factory in, in that spot exploded a couple hundred years ago. Now, I think we've had enough of a history chat because you've got an important task to do. Take these jars of honey and give them to Junior on Butter Hill. He knows where Robert is, but you have to come up with a crafty reason as to why you need to meet him. Hmm, I've got an idea, actually. Tell Junior that I need to help repair one of the beehives. Let him know that there's no more honey until it's fixed. He'll definitely need Robert's help to do it. Good luck, and say hello to Robert for me. All right, let's go to Butter Hill, guys. I'm not excited to meet uh, Vladimir, but I am kind of excited to meet Junior. I'm sorry, not Junior, uh, Robert, actually. He sounds pretty nice. I mean, anyone who's not as bad as the, uh, as bad as Junior can be more than nice. And I'm a little surprised, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little surprised that Junior is the angel of the family. Because he's like, you know, really super mean and stuff. Alright, this must be it. Alright, oh boy, there's... Good workers here. That can't be good. Well, let's try going it this way. Hmm, another concrete machine. Looks like we may have to do some building around here. At some point. That's not Robert, is he? No, that's Scott. Scott Buttergood. Oh, there's the Great Thunder. Alright, we gotta go the other way. Oops. Alright. Okay. This way looks like the right way. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Here we go, here's Junior. You again, didn't I tell you to get lost? You've got Daddy's honey with you? Is Pamela too afraid to face me? Or could she just not but be bothered with coming up here? At least I don't have to see her, which is always something. Why are you still here? If you want a tip, you can forget it. You need to see my brother Robert? One of Pamela's beehives is broken and she needs Robert's help to fix it, you say? Snort. Well, I guess we don't have much of a choice. Daddy needs a steady supply of his honey. But you'll have to do me a favor first, otherwise I won't tell you where Robert is. Hey, hey, you think the honey is more important than running around doing errands for me? Well, you'd be right. But I can see that you're in a hurry. I've got no time to wait, but you don't. I've got time to wait, but you don't, am I right? So there you go. So there you go. 
So there you go. It's just a small favor, and it'll be done in no time on that horse of yours. <laughs> Ride over to the Great Thunder and see how it's going with the bridge repairs. My brother Scott is taking care of it, and he needs to give me a progress report. I should have had the report this morning, but he hasn't been here yet. Scott didn't exactly inherit Daddy's intelligence, so you'll need to ride over there and fetch the report. If he hasn't written it, you can tell him from me that he'll be sleeping in the tool shed tonight. Hehe, <laughs> snort. Now get going, now! All right. Junior, jeez. Next thing he's gonna be telling me to do is putting a bridle on this here pretty horse of mine. I hate that guy. So we did actually figure out where Scott was, so that was good. Um, and that explains why the concrete is concrete mixers here and all this stuff. Are they trying to get over to the fort for something for Ged? Oh boy. Huh? Who are you? This is a forbidden area, don't you get that? You'd like a report to take to Junior? Grr, he knows exactly how much trouble I'm having with the bridge. Of course I haven't had time to write a report for him. Bah! Do you have any idea how hard it is to build a bridge out of the Great Thunder? People have been trying something here for generations, but it always collapses. Why does it always collapse? Don't, don't ask me. It's probably some kind of werewolf or vamp vampire. There's some other creature who makes all the trouble. Are there vampires or werewolves here? Of course. Have I ever seen any? Of course not. Nobody has. Do you think I... Don't you think you'd have read about it in the papers if somebody had? Think about it. Everyone knows there are monsters here in Epona, though. And at least the people with half a brain know they exist, and you don't seem to be one of those kinds of people. <laughs> anyway, enough, enough joking. Time for you to get started on writing a report for Junior. I've got to get on with building this bridge. Why should you write the report? Easy. If you take, if you want a report to take to Junior, then you can write it yourself. I don't have time to waste on this, and I'd rather sleep in the tool shed than let Junior boss me around. So, okay, I'll help you. You'll have an excuse. You'll have to excuse me if I sound a bit mean. This is stressful work, and it seems Junior's bad mood is contagious. Don't worry, this kind of report is easy. Here's a form to fill in. Just ride around to the places on the form and tick whether they look good or bad. Easy. Come back when you're done so I can take a look at it before you ride back to Junior. Alright. Let's go fill in this report, guys. wonder how many times we're going to have to do this. Two, three. Three, okay. Alright. It's two. It looks sturdy enough on both of these ends, but this is worrying. That is a big ravine. All right, let's go back to Scott. You've written the report. Let me see. Looks okay. Junior will probably be satisfied. I suppose I should thank you. What's your name, by the way? My name's Scott Buttergood, and it's nice to meet you, Tanja. I suppose I can take a little break to chat with you to chat to you, especially since this job is going to go on forever anyway. So you've had the pleasure of meeting Junior. What do you think of him? Ha <laughs> ha, no need to answer, Tantra. He's not very nice, I know. He runs in the family, sadly. Our dad, Vladimir, is the least pleasant man you could ever hope to meet. Luckily, we didn't have to see him much as, our, as kids since our mother raised us for the most part. When she died, I thought our family was going to fall apart, but us brothers have, have stuck together in spite of everything. Didn't our father take over our upbringing, you ask? Ha <laughs> ha, no chance. He expected us to take care of ourselves. He's only been interested in Junior and, I've, and never had time for me or Robert. Ha <laughs> ha, don't look so sad. It was Junior who drew the stro short straw. If you want to feel sorry for anyone, it should be him. True. Man, now enough. Enough now with the mushy family stuff. I need to get on with this thankless task of constructing a bridge over the Great Thunder. Take this report to Junior Tanja and be careful using the bridge. It's not finished and I can't guarantee it won't collapse, but use it as you wish. Bye then. Or do as you wish, sorry. Alright, sorry for um, slipping back into my normal voice because there were a couple times where I was getting awfully British with Scott's accent and um, that didn't sound right and I needed to uh, get back into the Western of Scott. Alright, yeah, Junior, I, I actually do feel kind of bad for Junior. You've got the report? Good. I need to be able to light the fire this evening. I'm fresh out of paper. You think I should read it? Ha <laughs> ha, I'd never read it. I was just basking, 
Boston Scott around. He needs reminding every now and then that I'm in charge of this family. You shouldn't be hanging around someone like Pamela. She's bad news, you know. She hasn't got a clue about the three most important things in life. Money, money, and more money. Only Garrett understands anything about this island, but everyone else will see. I've got big plans. You're looking for Robert, my brother Robert? Why would you be looking for that moron? Pamela needs him to repair a beehive? Nah, forget it. I don't like uninvited uh, guests on my land. Get lost. Hmm, I promise to help you if you gave me the report. Snort. I don't think I promised that at all. I'd sure remember, but I feel rather friendly t today, so I suppose I'll help. Robert's working down in the cotton fields. Now get lost. Let's go talk to Robert. And yes, you did promise it. No, you're not rather friendly, Junior. Jeez. Hi, good guards. You're not going to stop me, are you? Good, because I'm the same person you tried to capture that Herman saved. Which, we're going to save Herman, guys. It's, that's what we're doing here. It's what we're trying to do. We're saving Herman. Whoa, okay. Where is he? He's around this way. There he is. Hi there, I'm Robert Buttergood. Who might you be? Tonja, nice to meet you. How can I help? Pamela said I could help you meet Mrs. X. That's a huge favor. I suppose if you want me to, if you want to meet Miss X, then you must also want to stop Ged here in the Harvest Counties. In that case, uh, you could help. Maybe you could help me with something first, if you don't mind. Not at all. Am I a member of Chill? Yeah. Well, yeah, but I'm not in the inner circle. I don't know anything more about the, uh, than the basics of the organization. Safety first, as Mrs. X usually says. I know almost nothing about who else is a member or what plans they might have to go on. How come I join Chill? Well, Tonja, that's a long story. I can try and give you the short version, though. We've got to chat fast. Behind me is the bear is the bridge to Bear Point. The gate on the bridge has been locked so that you can't get past it, and you, as you've seen, it's a wasteland with nothing growing. The land was destroyed when Junior started drilling for oil there, and when and then Ged nearly finished it off when they started looking for whatever they're, it is they're looking for in the Harvest Counties. Ged finally leaving Bear Point as Chill's doing, and it's a really exciting story. But I'll tell you another time when you're not in such when we're not in such a hurry. Anyways, that was when I realized what Ged and my brother had done to Bear Point, and I decided to do join Chill. And now we're going. Now we've got to work to get to work. Tanja, we're Gonna do a little bit of sabotage in old bridge caster. Nothing dangerous, but every little helps. Every little helps when it comes to stopping Gid. They need a bunch of material of the materials on our farm. And the there are barrels with dangerous chemicals and the whole range of machinery. Machinery that we're going to sabotage. Sand in a gas tank. A classic. <laughs> I messed up Gid's machines before, but JR started suspecting it. Uh, but Junior started suspecting it, that it was me behind all the broken equipment. He's had his eye on me for ages now, so I never get the chance to sabotage anything. The plan is for me to go up and see Junior so that he knows it can't be me who has broken the machines. Meanwhile, you go fill the gas tanks of every machine you can find with, find with sand. A perfect a slipping in again. A perfect alibi for me, which is definitely going to be a bit of a head-scratcher for Junior. Haha, <laughs> if you... If you do this, I'll let you know how you can get a hold of Mrs. X. Alright, let's go pour sand into the tank gas tanks of some Ged machines, guys. We're gonna finally get back at Ged. Uh... Okay, I see. So all of their concrete machines, I suppose, then. Oh, I have to dismount in order to use it. Okay. We're pouring in it. Pouring it in. <laughs> I feel like being evil today, guys. Don't know why. Have absolutely no idea why. Let's go pour that sand. <laughs> Ah, destroy Ged. Destroy them. Hello, very nice Ged person. 
Can I pour sand into this room? Yes. Yes, I can. Do I have to wait until they're gone or something? No? Okay. Let's just pour it in. Alright, we only need one more. Because we've only got one more handful of sand. Alright, and then let's go back down here and try the other one that's down here. Hopefully. Oh, there it is. I see it. Perfect. No GED employees. Should I be saying G -E uh, GED or GED? I've never been sure about that. A little bit of sabotage. An old ridge caster. Conditions fulfilled. Let's go. Let's go meet up with him again. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Tanja. This will give Ged something to think about, and Junior's gonna go crazy trying to figure out how this could have happened. It's probably not the worst thing that's happened to Ged, but every little helps. I promised I'd help you find Miss X, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't know who she is, but maybe you already guessed that. Even if I did know who she is, I probably wouldn't say anything, because even though you seem trustworthy, as Miss Mrs. X herself would always say, safety first. Safety first. I can tell you how to get a hold of my contact in New Hillcrest, a person who's in the inner circle of chill. If anyone can arrange a meeting with Mrs. X, it's this this person. I'm not going to tell you who it is. You never know who might be listening, but I'll teach you a secret phrase that I can that I use to be able to find my contact. Talk to the residents of New Hillcrest inside the fries. Opponent's getting colder, and if someone responds by saying, but it'll soon be warm again, you know you're talking to the right person. Get to New Hillcrest, you'll have to ride around the Great Thunder, the ravine that splits Opponent in two. You might have to find a spot where you can get across the ravine, but I wouldn't hold out much hope. Ride back to Crescent Moon Village, and then head east to the Mirror Marshes. Uh, stay on the roads and you'll eventually find a road that takes you south. It won't be long before you reach New Hillcrest. I'm sure I'll see you again soon, Tanja. Good luck. Gee, thanks, Robert. You seem awfully nice. I quite like you and your brother Scott, but I hate Junior and Vladimir. Even though I've never met him. Never met the man. Alright. Okay. Hucky ducky. I'm just gonna stay on this one quest line for right now. Even though Pamela has a quest for me, and I'm assuming it's the race that starts somewhere over there. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Because that would make this episode even longer. And as soon as we find the contact, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode, I think. Um, and I'll see you guys um, at the contact again. Alright. New Hillcrest is this way. Okay, Mirror Marshes, here we come. There's the Epona River. This way to New Hillcrest. You got it, man. Full moon road. Alright, there we go. We're in the mirror marshes. Just gonna follow this road. And can I just say how nice it is to have unlocked all of this? It's like extremely nice. Okay. Because now I got to bring Onyx and Ash and Jade and Spirit here. Alright, log. New Hillcrest is this way. I'll jump along and get into a bit of swamp water here. Eastern Epona. Alright. Eastern Slopes, New Hillcrest is this way. You got it. Oh, and there it is, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. I like, I haven't seen New Hillcrest at all, and it looks normal, actually. Oh, I'm sort of disappointed. 
No, okay, that's not the person we're looking for. The phone is getting colder. No, okay, but we do have to talk to Ricky eventually in here. We gotta help him regain his confidence or something. Alright, where's the next one? Oh, okay, it's over there. I wasn't looking at the mini map. I probably should have been looking at the mini map. Is it Jamie? And, oh my gosh, I need to check out those horses. No, okay, it's not Jamie will retreat. Is it you? It'll be warm again soon. Yay! Yay, we found her! We found her, oh my gosh, okay. La la la, what? You said upon us getting colder? La la la, but it'll be, it'll soon be warm again. La dee dee, la dee da, dee da. Hmm, you seem to know our secret phrase, but I don't ne recognize you. Odd. I thought Robert was going to come. Very odd indeed. La dee, la dee la dee da. Who are you? 